Hey guys, today I am in Japan and for those of you who watched my last video in Korea, I went straight from Korea to Japan. You can like see my hotel through there. It's actually a little bit weird that you can like see me in the window mirror thing back there, but you know, it's all good. That's my, um, that's my bathroom. I thought it would be really cool to start filming all of these little get ready with me's in every country that I go to. So if you like those, Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button Turn on post notifications if you want me to comment back to you because I'm always on my videos for like the first hour or two that I've posted I actually created this look in Korea and got so many requests to do it I've been wearing it every single day in Tokyo It's just been like really easy quick go-to look that looks like you put a lot of effort into your makeup If you guys want to see pictures from my trip my Instagram is linked below. Without further ado, I'm just going to get on with the video. So I'm gonna start out with skincare. And I got this serum while I was in Korea. It's not out in the US yet. It is by Primera and it is their Wild Seed Firming Serum. And I was so hooked on this because the texture is like natto. Anybody who doesn't know what natto is though, it's like fermented soybeans. And then when you kind of go to eat them or pull them, it leaves all these little strings between them. So this product has those kind of like strings. It kind of hooked me on that. The texture is beautiful on the skin. It leaves kind of this really smooth, serum-y um, feeling. It feels like it's leaving a layer of moisture on your face. Then I'm going to top that with my favorite Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Facial Oil. I always do like four drops of this. Rub it on my hands and then just pat it on and this makes your makeup go on so easily I also got this in Korea, which is the cutest little sun stick I am not sure actually what the brand is answers are everywhere So I think that might be the brand and it's their easy peasy pink holic hollow sun stick It's this beautiful kind of like grapefruity iridescent sun stick. It has SPF 30 in it, I believe and you just rub it on your face. It smells like grapefruit. Amazing. Putting on a sun stick is so easy. It's literally just like rubbing it on your face and making sure everything is covered. This trip to Tokyo, you guys, has been absolutely beyond out of this world. Using Guerlain's Meteorite CC Glow Color Corrector in Apricots, cover a little bit of dark circles under my eyes because last night was Halloween and I was literally running around Tokyo until 5 a.m. We didn't go to like a bar or a club or anything. We just we just ran around Tokyo and went to Shibuya and it was the most amazing experience I've ever had. Halloween in Tokyo is like another world. So much more than I could have ever expected it to be. I've been using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer and I've been mixing one N in two W. And then I'm just going to pat it on under my eye out into like a triangular formation. I'm going a little bit heavier on this today. I'm not jet lagged anymore, but I did stay up pretty, pretty late. Before I powder that, I'm actually going to do my contour and my blush. So start with contour. I have my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette. This has become one of my favorite products so, so fast. So I'm just going to use my fingers on my nose. And then I'm going to use a brush to blend the rest of it out. This is Sigma's Soft Blend Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to kind of like buff everything out where it needs to be. Oh my god, on Halloween, I was Jessica from Rick and Morty. <laughs> I actually bought the costume last year. Didn't get a chance to wear it. And so I brought it here this year. And of course, I ran into a Rick which I had to take a picture with. It was like one of those moments we literally like spotted each other in the crowd and we're like, complete strangers. I run up to him, hand my friend my phone. I'm like, take a picture. <laughs> so I have been reaching for this blush a ton lately. I mean, also because I only brought like three blushes with me, which is kind of a lot, but I've worn this one almost every single day and it is the Makeup Forever HD blush in, I think it's 215, which is Flamingo or something like that. And I'm using the same brush to add a little bit of that to my cheeks, just kind of creating a natural flush, like I am blushing, kind of bringing it closer to my nose. Now I'm going to powder it using my powder because what other powder do I ever use? 
and I'm just going to sit under my eyes and my forehead. For my brows, I am using the Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylist Pencil and Gel, and this is in the color Ash Brown. So I'm just going to fill my brows really quick. Okay, now here's the fun part. I'm using Tarte's Man Eater palette. Like my second to last day in Korea, I went for a look with it and I was like, wow. I got so many requests on Instagram for this look, so I'm doing it. I'm using Saucy, which is this very like warm, rusty toned color. And I'm adding a little bit of that in the crease of my eye with a stiff brush. Pulling that under my eye a bit. And then using the same brush, I'm using Foxy, which is the most shimmery color in the entire palette. And I'm putting that on my lid and kind of like in the inner corner of my eye as well. But I didn't realize until I started filming this video how tired I am. And I'm like, oh my god, Jessica, how are you going to keep your energy up for this? I'm mixing Midnight and Saucy. I'm just using that on the outer corner just to like darken everything up a little bit add a little bit more definition. Then I'm gonna take a big old fluffy brush, little, little fluffy brush, and I'm going to... <laughs> Can you tell how tired I am? And I'm going to mix Passion and Meow, and I'm going to blend out the edges of this real good because this is darker than I've been wearing it, so we're just gonna do that. Strangers in the night, two lonely people, we were strangers in the night. Do we do we do? Boo 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 boo. When I was in Korea, we learned a little bit about how Korean women do their makeup and why they do certain things for their makeup. And one of the things that they do is use this very like sparkly shadow. And I never understood why they did it. I thought they just like used sparkly shadow. But apparently, it's so that it looks like they've almost just finished crying like their eyes are almost a little bit watery so if you just see it kind of out of the corner of your eye it's sparkling and you're like oh she just finished crying and it's to kind of like set something off in men's heads to comfort them and to want to like hold them and be around them so i started <laughs> so manipulative but like so ingenious so i started doing it of course i was so curious about it picked up a little sparkly shadow from etude house if i can find it online i will link it for you guys i'm just adding a bit of that under my eyes really just enough so like if i'm in the sun it'll pick it up but you can't really tell that much in person kevin aquan lash curler of course are you shocked and i'm going to use my go-to mascara combo because this is the only mascara that i brought with me but also kind of the only mascaras that i use but i am i think in the market of exploring mascaras a little bit more so if you guys have any that you absolutely love please 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 leave a comment down below so what i typically do is i'll put a bunch of the le volume de chanel on my top lashes like a bunch and then I'll use Glossier's Lash Slick on my bottom lashes and then comb out my top lashes. Just the wands and the formulations complement each other so much so you don't lose any volume but you get a lot of length. Okay, I'm not like a huge lip person but I have been wearing this so much. It is the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the color Entice. I will typically just do like a light little wash of this on my lips overlining them a tiny bit then the color is actually a lot lighter than i normally would go for and normally it's like a bit of a darker dusty rose but i feel like this like really makes my lips look super plump this is the finished look probably going to be like my everyday makeup when i'm feeling a little bit more glam for quite a while and i will again leave all the products and everything linked in the description below don't forget to look out for the vlog from japan and thank you guys so much i will see you in my next video